Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's G from Happiness and Crafting. So I'm going to be do a, doing a mixed media today and I've got some uh, mixed media paper. It's 300 GSM uh, watercolour mixed media type paper, which is a nice um, thickness to it. So what I've got, I've got some book paper, which is the music paper, which I'm just going to do like I normally do, a little bit of a background um, and then just so over it, just so it's got a little bit of texture to it. Now, I thought I would do like a little um, underwatery type of one today. So I've got a seahorse, which is beautiful, isn't it? I've got some little fish. I'm probably not going to put all of this on here. Um, and I've got some shells. But I do like this as the sort of texture on there. I think that's lovely. So that's my aim. I've got a few bits of fabric which I might pop on there as well. And I've got the um, silver leaf. Now I just thought the silver leaf might look quite nice on this one today. Um, seeing it sort of underwater be a little bit sparkly and then again I have got some of my Liquitex inks which I have got the yellow turquoise turquoise green blue and white so let's see let's just do a little bit of sticking first I just want to like I normally do just pop a little bit of this um, on the background so this might make a nice sort of a journal cover or something I think if it's not too um, bulky with stuff, we shall see. Um, but I've been making a few journals at the moment just to play in. Because um, that's what I like doing at the moment, which is nice. So today we went for a beautiful walk this morning. Picked up some nice fresh veg and fruit and some absolutely beautiful fresh chocolate croissant as well so that was really nice it's beautiful to go uh, go out early in the morning because um, it gets very very busy seeing we're right in the middle of summertime here in Portugal um, so it gets rather busy so it's lovely to be out <clears throat> nice and early when the shops open up and everything is all nice and fresh um, it's fabulous so I do feel very very lucky to be doing that so and I don't want too much of this do I so let's just put that amount on shall we just so we've got a little bit of background maybe another piece on top because that's sort of where the seahorse is going to have to go because he's quite big unless we're down here I don't want to go over these edges because I've popped some tape around here so um, I just want to sort of like take that off afterwards. Oh, I've also got like a little bit of corrugated card. This is off an Amazon packaging. Um, so maybe I'll just, should I stick that? It looks like, I just thought it looked a little bit like, um, I'm gonna stick it on with some heavier matte medium. It looks a little bit like, sort of like seaweedy, reedy things, doesn't it? So let's just, take some of this out pop it on the back I think that's way too much right, let's just stick that down give it a nice little background a little bit more then again we will just gesso over the top of all of this I do fancy doing one where, um, it's just, I don't want it too much, put it this side, where you just sort of stick lots of bits and pieces on a canvas or something like that and just paint over it with one colour, don't you? I don't know whether you've seen that, but, oops, gets rid of all your little odds and bits and pieces that you've got, which I quite fancy doing actually. So there we go, that will do on there. Let's get rid of this glue. Not really done. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to just give that a quick blast just to just dry it for a little minute. Perfect. Right, let's go over that with a little bit of gesso. So again, I'm going to just be using this big pot of white gesso 
Shall I paint it on? I should really, shouldn't I? I'm going to just use a paintbrush, a, a paintbrush paintbrush on this one. Just like that. There we go. Very simple. Now I'm going to go over it with my, oops. Card. Okay. Perfect. Another quick blast. There we go. Lovely. So, what colours should we do? Shall we go in with a little bit of yellow sort of on the bottom? Just, I'm not going to do too much. Just a little bit. And we'll go in with one of these cards. Mix it with a little bit of blue or something in a minute as well. Or brown maybe. That's very, very bright, isn't it? Let's just go in here with a bit of the raw umber. lovely now we're going to go in at the top should we go with the turquoise i think we should do the turquoise and again we'll just pull it down let's use this one i'm going to use a little bit of water actually Fabulous. This is the green, but it's all very much a sort of bluey colour, I find. Let's pop a little bit of wow. Right, I'm going to dry that. Let's see if I can take a little bit of that colour off. Let me just get some. This gives it, look at that lovely texture it's over that from the tissue. Oh, look, you can see the music paper under there now. That looks a little bit better. It was a bit too bright for me, I think that was. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? Put a little bit of this on there, couldn't we? Now, I need to do something else with this background. I'm not quite happy with that. I'm gonna add a little bit of white onto there. I'm going to dry it. Before that's dry, I'm going to add a little bit of the green, I think. So it mixes up. Oops, a little bit there. OK, 
okay I don't want to heat it heat dry it anymore I'm just going to leave that for a minute just to um just to dry a little naturally so I will be two seconds okay I think that's a little bit drier than it was um so loving it so shall we I've got these little um some one of my stencils that I made and I thought a couple of little sort of bubbly bits would be quite nice wouldn't it so shall we just pop a little bit of gesso in here and do it with some gesso let's just see I've got a sponge somewhere there we go just some little white see what they come out like just up here that looks all right. colors coming off here Never mind. Love it. Okay, should we have a couple more? Just up there. You can go over these, I think, maybe with a bit of a Posca pen as well. over there that can stay there let me just quickly dry that okay perfect right I'm going to go in the bottom a little bit with a little bit of my green crayon here the aqua crayons oops stick down what colour should we go in with it? Let's go a little bit of a, a lighter blue in there. I'm not sure, should I stick a little bit of this on? I think that might look quite nice. Where's my water brush gone? I wasn't quite sure of that yellow underneath it, but I think that looks quite nice now, a little bit coming through. Mixed all in together. Love it. Okay. Don't mind those being like that, actually. So, shall we just... I think I might. Let me just tear this. So that we can sort of stick it over there like that. And I'm just going to stick that on like that. I think I need a little bit of glue. Try and get it over the, on this because if I put it on the paper, the colour is going to come off. I don't want that to happen, so. There we go. Should we have a little bit? just a little bit of this off stick it down on the top of there there we go remove a little bit of that glue quite a lot of glue on there I don't want it going over this piece of tape at the bottom really 
Not sure whether that is. We shall see. Okay, I like that. Now, our little seahorse, where shall we pop you? Shall we just pop you on there? Make sure your little tail isn't going off. Now, do you think I can get any more of this? Oh gosh, I've got it green. I want it to be green. Just a little bit off his tail, look. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to make a big mess otherwise. Let's just stick him on there. Pop some, oh, have I changed this colour now? Not sure whether you're going to look too good. Your tail gone a bit of a funny old colour. Let's just stick you there. Just move in a bit. There we go. Got his tail wet now, so it's just the ink because it's an inkjet printer you've got to be very careful with the ink because it will change colour and smudge and blur and all sorts of things as I'm sure you all know but let's just pop you down there One day I'll get an inkjet, um, a laser printer, and then that won't happen. But look at that, he does look nice, doesn't he? Shall we just blot you off a little bit? There we go. Perfect looks lovely doesn't he shall we get our posca pen out and also i'm going to let's just see let's do this side first so little little bubbles oops look they're on the don't need to colour those in, do I? Because they're on the tape. It's just these little bits here. Okay. I think I'll get away with doing those little white dots as well on here. I think they would look quite nice, wouldn't they? And I think I might, actually, I might do some of these little dots um, silver. So let's just pop a couple of little, I think I might get my bigger one. Oh gosh. Let's just go in with this one, that's better. looks perfect and then what I will do I'll go in and pop some of the glue for the silver leaf look at this one this is really nice isn't it will do for now I can always add some more I'm going to just wait for him to dry so what I'm going to do I will add the silver leaf the um the glue and then we'll just give this a little bit and then I will come back and add um a little bit more the silver leaf and stuff like that when it's nice and dry so I've got one of these little the little silicon um, 
silicon brushes. So let's just add, look at that, just add some glue to these bubbles. They would look quite nice, won't they? I hope. You shall see, maybe a bit of dots around there as well. Don't think you need too much of this actually. Let's have a few little bits that go down. It's very smelly this so make sure you have um, if you use it the glue your windows open because it has got quite a bit of an odor to it where else shall we put some should we put some I don't want to overdo it there we go that will do just a little bit not too much pop the lid on. Should we add a few more of these when it's drying? Oh, wrong one. Let's use the bigger one. Got to remember where I pop the glue now, haven't I? So, let's just pop these up. Okay, right, I'm going to give that five minutes and um, let the, the ink dry and these little bits dry and then we will be back okay so this is pretty dry now so I've got a little bit of gold not gold leaf silver leaf here um, if I can remember where it needs to go so let's just stick these on so I think that's nice and tacky now in there I think I missed one there, never mind. Put some on this side. Oops. Okay, let's just rub that off. I think that's all I put on there. I don't think I put any down there. Let me just get a little, little brush and rub those off. Lovely. Let's put these bigger bits in there. Oops, I'm going to have silver leaf everywhere this week. Let me just blow these little bits off like that. Look at that, nice little bit of sparkle on there. Love it. Okay, so let's have a look. That looks good, doesn't it? I'm going to go in just with a little bit of blue just down here just where this little bit of paper was just so it's a little bit darker in here don't want it too dark but just a little bit let's see Just blend him in just a little bit better. That's better, isn't it? A 
lovely. Shall we have a little bit of green? Let's go for a bit of green under here. This was a fun one to do. Love it. Okay. Now I did want to add just a little bit of fabric on here. I'm not going to put anything else on him because I think he looks nice. Those are colours that he already is. Love it. So I've got, oh no, I've got my little fish. I cut this little fish out. What do you think? Do you think we need a little fish on there? Do you think it needs a friend? Don't know, not sure, but I do have some fabric. This is a little bit of cheesecloth. Should we, do, should we just pop that like that? That's quite nice, isn't it? this off let's scrunch that up looks a little bit like seaweed doesn't it let's just scrunch this what do you think i think this needs to go underneath like that now i've got my glue gun so i'm gonna just stick that down i think i'm gonna go this away And we don't want it at the bottom. Pop you on top. Just like that. Oh, I like that. That adds a nice little bit of texture into there, doesn't it? Just under his little tail. Perfect. Right, so I'm going to heat these up. Unless they will come off, let's just. Oh, they might come off. There we go. Which side? This side. Oh, we've got the bits of glue gun. I think it makes such a difference just when you give it a border. I think they look lovely, don't they? Take this off. Fantastic. Oh, I love it. Look at that. Doesn't that look lovely? Can you see that lovely um, silver sparkling now? Just going to go around these again just with a little bit missed that one and pop a few little dots through down there which I think looks nice like that There we go, that will do, love it. So there we go guys, that's our lovely mixed media for today. And I think that's come out absolutely gorgeous. So I am now, it's Sunday afternoon, so I am going to go out into my garden, have a nice glass of wine and sit and relax. 
and enjoy the rest of the day and I hope you guys do as well hope you have a fantastic rest of the day um, please stay safe take care and I will see you soon all right guys bye bye mm -hmm.